question for you. Two children missing, a mother murdered, a father behind bars in Atlanta, and another local man in jail. That sums up the desperate case. Timothy Bernard Jones was arraigned today as an accessory after the fact for Alicia Fox's murder. Let's go live to 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig. Kim, you were in court today. Yes, and he actually claimed the last time he saw the children, they were alive. Poli police cadets were actually out searching for the children, little Kayla and Christian today, but still no sign of them. Their mom's body was actually found in this house on Penrod here, and today Timothy Jones was charged in connection with helping to cover up evidence in that crime. Good afternoon, sir. State your name from Hartford. Timothy Jones, how are you doing? All right, sir. Sir, are you here on a criminal matter? He's 27 year old Timothy Bernard Jones, arraigned today on a charge of accessory after the fact. Prosecutors say Jones knew that Aaron Justice murdered his wife, Alicia Fox, about two weeks ago and helped him try to cover up the crime. And Action News has learned that Jones claims that the now missing children were alive at the house when he left. And Jones and Aaron Justice are more than friends. Jones is the uncle to Justice's three other children. Yesterday, Alicia's Burgundy Impala was found at a salvage yard in Taylor. Investigators have been combing it for evidence that might lead them to six-year-old Kayla Hunter and eight-month-old Christian Justice. As for his buddy, Timothy Jones, he's now facing that felony for his alleged role in helping to cover up the murder of the children's mother. He doesn't have a history of failing to report. He has a nonviolent history. Um, as far as I know, no extensive criminal background. Um, he's been gainfully employed, has strong family support. Um, it's just alleged he was called to a place and found himself in a, in a bad situation. And murder suspect Aaron Justice is locked up in Georgia going through the long extradition process. And a lot of people have asked me if the kids could also be in Georgia. But when he flew south, we're told he was on that plane alone. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.